there folks, this is Tracy Royce for Bigger Pockets, and this week's vlog is going to cover a little bit about short sales and why they might be the next sort of inventory to chase as REO and other types of distressed properties are harder to get your hands on. So let's go back to the basics. What is a short sale? Now, I'm sure you probably know what it is, but for those of you out there that might not, a short sale really is just when a homeowner owes more on their property than it's actually worth. Now, the short sale process is when a buyer comes along, wants to buy the property, and they use the buyer's funds to be able to settle the debt with what's currently um, with what's currently in place, obviously for less than what's owed. The buyer wants it at fair market value, the negotiation process uh, goes through, and then everyone settles on a price and the seller is released from their debt. Now, it sounds pretty easy, right? Not so much if you talk to some agents and buyers and other people that have previously tried to do or purchase short sales. But there's good news, and I want to share some national and local statistics since I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, the short sale foreclosure REO auction uh, crux of the world, it seems like sometimes. Um, so I want to share both national and local statistics of why you might not, or why you might be interested in not chasing some of this other stuff and starting to maybe spearhead uh, acquiring short sales. So coming straight from Realty Track, short sales were up by 22% in the third quarter of 2012 and accounted for 65% of pre-foreclosure sales in the same quarter of 2012. And all of these statistics are very recent, by the way. Now between March 1st and September 30th of 2012, lenders were able to provide over $13 million or approximately $13 million in debt relief uh, in short sales alone. So that's not necessarily... Um, something for you to do anything with or you know have a takeaway from but it's just good to know. In 2012 as well foreclosure sales steadily outnumbered bank owned home sales. So in the third quarter 98,000 homes in foreclosure meaning short sale hadn't gone back to the bank yet were sold compared to 95,000 bank owned homes that were sold during the same period. And sales of bank owned homes were actually down 20% from 2011. national statistics. Here in Arizona, um, distressed property sales are about 40% of what's happening and that's actually fluctuated pretty largely in the last several years, but there's still a healthy chunk of the market. Now, short sales are 70% of all the distressed properties um, that, are sell here, that are selling here, so they make up about 27% of all of the monthly home sales that are going on here every month. Um, in your market, depending on where you live, you might not have seen a huge flush in, pr in pricing like uh, Phoenix Metro did or in other hard hit areas, so short sales might not even be popular in your area at all. And as well, the vendors are starting to catch on to these things, like big banks can take a while to catch up what's really happening in the markets. But with that being said, since short sales have been um, being conducted heavily for the last several years, they've gotten a lot more streamlined in their process and it's not to say that you can't get a short sale done in six months or less. It's very ideal to get it done within three to five months and some banks can get it done in even less than that. So I implore you to go explore um, and maybe look at some short sales. So REO inventory is all but gone. If you're down at trustee sale, if you're doing it by yourself, that can be very, very inefficient. Uh, the short sale process has gotten easier and the number of REOs is going down. Short sales have remained the same. And here in Phoenix, Arizona, we only have three months of inventory. So if you're having a hard time finding properties, why not go to some of this low hanging fruit and see what you can make out of it? So not to go Jim Cramer on you or anything, but um, I really implore you to go try to find a short sale. So Jim Cramer for Mad Money, no, just kidding. Tracy Roy signing off for uh, Bigger Pockets. And if you enjoy this article, please like it, share it, leave comments. And um, until next time I speak to you, or next time I talk with you, uh, this is Tracy Royce for BiggerPockets.com.